In this exercise on the first inversion major chords, we'll continue to acquire precision as well as more in-depth finger dexterity. The shape of the triads and the notes will become secure and therefore can be played with ease and musical expression. Let's continue to further develop these invaluable skills. Still pursuing the first inversion major triads using the right hand fingers one, two, and five, place your fingers on E, G, and C. Remember C is the root of the chord, E is the third of the chord, and G is the fifth of the chord. Always check your wrist. Be sure your wrist is tall and not lowered. Always check your knuckles. Be sure that your knuckles are rounded and tall and not caved in or in that position. We want our fingers to be tall and rounded and we don't want this joint to cave in. Play on the tip of each finger. While holding the second and fifth fingers, we'll repeat the lowest note, the thumb. We'll now begin. C major. Repeat the lowest note, moving up. Keep your arm relaxed and your wrist relaxed. Check your knuckles. Be sure your hand remains tall. Also, check your finger joints, especially your fifth finger here. Be sure they're curved and rounded for strength. B major. Here's our final one. C major. Excellent. Remember that the left hand fingering here is different from the right hand fingering. The left hand will use fingers 5, 3, 1, fifth finger on E, third finger on G, and thumb on C. Always take time to check your wrist. Be sure it's tall, not low. Check your knuckles. Be sure your knuckles are tall, not caved in. And your fingers. Be sure your fingers are very tall, not caved in rounded and strong. Hold down fingers three and one while repeating the lowest note, which in this case is the fifth finger. We'll move up chromatically. Here's C major. Repeat the fifth finger, moving up. Keep your arm relaxed. wrist relaxed. You want your hand to remain tall and fingers strong and curved. Check every finger to be sure it's playing on the tip. We're on B major and now C major. Excellent. You're developing your pianistic skills in an astounding manner through this video series on the major triads. There's another very important fingering for the first inversion major chords. We'll continue that study in the next tutorial, number 13. Thank you for watching. I'd like to invite you to subscribe so you'll receive the latest training teaching and performance videos.